Hi, this is Mac G uh, with the part two uh, of the IRC uh, series. So I've got the IRC client here. It's a blank form, nothing on it. So we're just going to go ahead and add two buttons like last time. It's one and two. This will be connect and this one will be disconnect. So let me just go ahead and type that. Disconnect and connect. Okay, I got that. We need a rich text box. Uh, gonna chuck that in hither. And we're just gonna need a blank text box. And that should do it there. Okay, what we're gonna wanna do is type connect. Okay, and then in here, we're going to do. Uh, I think I'll just keep it in the button this time. Uh, okay, so we're gonna wanna do. Oh, there. Dim client as TCP client. Dim Rx as stream reader. If I can type. Dim TX as stream writer. Okay, then we're just gonna go and import all these. And import, come on, come on. Okay, so in here we're going to want to uh, go client. Oh, should probably put this in a try and catch, shouldn't we? Try and catch, we'll just go rich text box one, text box one dot text plus equals. Uh, failed to con connect e then the message plus vb new line okay so that's that error sorted out uh, so we're going to do client equals new tcp client and just going to put the ip so the ip for me is going to be localhost I think that works. And the port, oh, I can't remember the port. Uh, I think I set the port as. Uh, I should have prepared 4305. Okay. 4305. Okay. Then client. stream can read equals true. Then we're going to want to go rx equals client dot get stream and tx equals client dot get stream. Okay. Yeah. Oh. New stream <laughs> reader. Brackets around that, if that'll. Okay. New stream writer. Oh. And thread. Dot. God damn it. Threading. Dot thread. Pool. Come on. Address of. Uh, I can do connected. Connect. I don't know. Connected. I don't know. Function. Uh, function is going to be connected. Sorry. Being really dumb. It's currently 2:38 a.m. Okay. Then we're going to do your rx dot base stream dot can read equals true. Try and catch. And the catch will be. Uh, catch will be client.close. And. Um, okay, in here. You can do as before while rx.base stream can read. Because 
true. Uh, we're going to do dim raw data as string equals rx dot read line. Okay. And then okay. Got all that. Um, if raw data dot two upper equals uh, let's say what we want to say um, how about raw data equals um, uh, do message then so if the raw data that comes into the client uh, equals slash message so if the server sends to this client uh, slash msg it's going to pop a message box so we're going to do um, message one then we're going to put the data as hello oh, hello world seems more fitting uh, I should probably chuck this until it's red pool that'll probably make more sense. Uh, need to put a comma there. Threading dot thread pool address of, and I'm gonna create a little function here. MSG one by val data as string return true, and just gonna pop a message box and I'm just gonna have that contained with data with that hello world okay uh, and then else rich text box one dot text plus equals uh, going to do something fancy like from the server uh, server it's going to be like that and then we're going to put the raw data plus VB new line. Okay, so that's that sorted out. Now we just need to go down here. Gonna wanna find key down, wherever that is. Just gonna go ahead and get rid of that. If E dot, uh, I think it's key code. Key code equals keys dot enter. Then E dot suppress. Yep, equals true. So what that'll do is when you press enter, it won't make any beeps or anything, but it will still just execute whatever's in here. So we're going to be using that like a, like that, but it'll be sending data. So we're going to be send. Oh, just going to run another little if. If text box one dot text dot length is greater than zero then we're going to send to server text box one dot text and we're going to clear that text box so dot clear now the function send to server by val if I can type data as string ah. return true uh, okay the ways to get around any of the errors would be to add like um, has connection to server boolean or something like that connect to server oh butcher this didn't I okay so I'm going to try tx dot right line. Uh, I'm going to just put data tx dot flush. Okay, I think that will do that one. So we're gonna run that. Uh, I don't think I set up disconnect. Uh, shit, I'll do that in a second. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna basically do the same. So I'm going to grab a text box, and I'll just do a button this time, because I can't be bothered. 
setting all that up again. Button. Uh, I'm not going to be fancy, I won't name it. Okay, so here we're going to do send to clients. And this will send to all the clients and not a specified one. Send to send to clients. Um, then I'm going to do text box one dot text. Okay. Function. Uh, shit. We should probably chuck this to another thread then. of function send to clients turn true so if server status equals true if um, clients dot count greater than zero for each let's just try for each client as TCP client in clients. That's a lot of clients. I'm uh, going to do client uh, dim tx as stream writer. I'm just going to put client dot get What did I do wrong? Why is that being a stupid? Is it? I need a. I don't. What? <laughs> did I just do a stupid? I think I did. Uh, I, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't know what I did wrong. As uh, new stream. Okay. I know. Hey news. What's going on? As new. There we go. Dim rx1 as new stream reader. Dot get stream. And uh, we probably actually don't need the reader, to be honest. We don't need the reader. Uh, tx1 dot write line. Um, gonna write, we're going to write uh, text box one. Right, data. Data. Uh. My computer's lagging a little. That's not good. TX one dot flush. And I'm gonna come down here and send to clients data. So it's just gonna repeat this again. So you may get um, looped messages. Uh, if that does happen, then. Yeah, it's an easy fix. But it's just simple, uh, basic IRC. Uh, now for receive, I think so I need to ah, rich text box one. That's not text. Text box one dot text plus equals raw data plus oh new line and we're just gonna go ahead and quickly go uh, client dot client dot remote endpoint dot to string and then that okay I can add a rich text box I should probably do that, shouldn't I? Yeah, never mind, I'll just leave it out. <laughs> that just, eh, doesn't matter. Uh, I think I got two minutes to do this. Yeesh. A little under. I'm sure I'll be right. Okay. Load. Okay. Start. And I have to allow it through the firewall, so allow. Coming. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and connect, and hopefully nothing crashes. Uh, I was going to turn it to it, but test. Uh oh. 
Something's broken. Test. Yeah. That's not good. <laughs> God damn it. Okay. So, I just figured out what a little issue is, so I'm just going to add that here. So it's start server, and then it's just add that, so then it's going to drop down. And, uh, let me grab this. I hope I haven't fucked this up too badly while trying to figure out this stupid error that I was having. Beep, beep. I think that was a good sign. I don't know. Okay. Loading. Here we go. Uh, start server. And connect. Beep beep. So hopefully test. Hey. So test and test. Okay. So that works. Simple IRC. Uh, the code for this will all be in the description below. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed, and thank you guys for watching.